Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Stake Insanity. I wanted to give you an update since I'd had my week away and been at uh, a big event, a big podcasting event in London. The last update, I mentioned that I knew I was going to be out. I knew it was going to be a difficult week on the diet. I knew I was going to be out drinking and doing a lot of partying, which I did. And I had some ideas about what happened and some some thoughts off the back of it. So I thought I'd give everybody an update on what happened. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to go in graphic detail, but suffice to say that um, a couple of days last week, I was out, big podcasting event, loads of parties, loads of sort of parties after, you know, being at the event all day, um, limited access to food and it was, there were a lot of meetings and a lot of things. So I, I couldn't get away to kind of go off out of the event and, and sort of leave and, and get some lunch or anything. So I had to do the best I could. And that's what I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, loads of parties, stuff like that. And what I wanted to say is, is it, and I know I've said this before, but it really kind of came to the forefront over the week, which is. We've all just got to make the best decisions that we can at any given point. So sometimes we're going to, we're all going to be in a situation where we can't be perfectly on any diet at any, at any time. But what we need to do is we need to have a, an idea of where we want to be. And I stopped thinking about the way I eat, although the word in English is diet. It's not about it's not about losing weight or anything else. It's just about what I choose to eat and how I choose to be. And if I can keep that as my North Star, then it makes making the decisions a little bit easier. So, for example, I'm at the event. Um, you know, they don't, they, in the morning, it's all pastries and everything. So, first day, fine. Didn't have any pastries. Just thought, okay, I'll, you know, stick through till lunch. I might have had a latte, something like that, or two. Um, and I might've walking around, I might've picked up, I don't know, a starburst or something and had a starburst. So I had a little bit of sugar, so fine. But then it comes lunchtime and really it was a choice between sandwiches and like a chicken curry with some rice and, or some salads and stuff like that. And I chose the chicken curry. I asked them to put no rice. So they put like half rice. Um, because they just, they, they can't figure it out. But anyway, whatever. I thought that's fine. But then when I, I went to eat, I kind of, I was eating the chicken and I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to be starving later if I don't have something. The The amount of chicken that they give you in a meal like that is not anywhere close to what you would eat if you were at home or you had control sort of over your own kind of diet. So I just, I was like, okay, I'm going to have some rice with it because I'll, I'm going to be hungry otherwise. And it was fine. The world didn't end. I didn't bend over in extreme pain. I didn't feel massively bloated, but I didn't eat a cup of rice either. I just had a couple of small bites, but it made it, it just made it better. It made the it made it didn't make the meal more filling for me. Anyway, skip to later. I knew I was going to be out. You know, went out drinking. Basically, didn't eat any food until about one thirty or two o'clock in the morning. Um, but I went. There was a McDonald's nearby. So I went to McDonald's and I was able to get a double quarter pounder, take the buns off, boom, back on the diet. Even though I'd been drinking all night and none of that's on the diet. It it's about making those right choices when you can. And this is across everything. It it's not just about what you eat. It's it, every time you're presented with a decision, you've always got to try and do this. But what I came to realize is is that I didn't have to really worry about it. I was kind of worried about it earlier in the week. And then by the time you've had a few drinks, you don't care anyway. And that's the risk with drinking more than anything. Um, but then the next morning I went in, I was a little bit hungover. I was feeling a bit tired. I'm like, okay, I want to boost. So somebody offered me a, a croissant. So I had a croissant and then, but I was back on the same track again. So then it's back to lunch again. What do I eat for lunch? So, you know, it's back, have another curry, have a little bit of rice, have, everything. So you're feeling better. And then, you know, you kind of, you got to go out afterwards. And it was just, I didn't worry too much about it. 
I was like, okay, sometimes I'm going to have some stuff. I might have some sweets or something to get a little boost of energy throughout the day if I'm really flagging. And that's okay. Again, it didn't kill me. I, out of curiosity, so I guess before I say that, so I, again, I'm not doing it for weight, but I did notice by yesterday, kind of yesterday was bank, uh, was a holiday in the UK, so we all had the day off. And I was sitting at home and I was thinking, right, actually I feel like I've put on about five or six pounds, but that's kind of what I expected because I know every time I drink, I always put on some water weight and I, and, and I can gain a kilo sort of, you know, two pounds just overnight when I, when I drink, regardless of what I eat. And I kind of was expecting that that was going to happen. So again, it wasn't a big deal. When I ate, I did make sure to not have anything with any sweeteners in it. So interestingly enough, through all the stuff and, and look, I, I was off the diet, but on all the stuff that I ate, I was very strict about a few things like no artificial sweeteners and so no diet cokes, whatever. When I had drinks, I tried to have like things like neat whiskeys and stuff like that. And then, you know, not a lot of cokes or mixers to go with it. Certainly no fruit juice and all that sort of stuff. And, um, but yeah, I was, I was feeling like a bit soft if I'm honest and, you know, kind of, yeah, okay. I've put on a few pounds and out of curiosity this morning, I just got on the scale cause I wanted to see where I was. And what I found really interesting is, is that I only put on three pounds, which isn't what I expected. I expected it to be a lot more than that. And that's another thing that it flagged to me is that what our brains tell us and what our body, what's actually going on is sometimes different. And we can't always rely on our brains to 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 give us correct information. So here I was thinking, well, I've put on five or six pounds when actually it's half that. And and in fact, if I go to the gym a couple of days in a row, that'll fall off because it's probably mostly just me retaining water weight. And that was really, I found that really interesting. So how do we go off the diet, basically? So I'm essentially starting over again. Um, I have had a lot of cravings over the weekend that had been really hard to deal with, which is a not unexpected knock on effect from, you know, having been off the diet, but I'm back, back in the gym, uh, back on the diet pretty strictly now just to try and get myself back to where I want to be. And, um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to record this and just say, Yes, I had a hell week last week. Um, you know, didn't didn't really eat all the things that I wanted to, but I'm okay with that. And it didn't have a massive impact on my weight, and it had zero impact on my um, my arthritis and all the other stuff because I was pretty disciplined. I've I've basically worked out on the elimination piece that I can almost eat anything now as long as it's not ultra processed and it doesn't have any sweeteners in it. That's really what the, that's what really causes my, my inflammation to fire and my tendonitis and everything to come back. So I'm, I'm actually pretty safe eating most stuff. I can eat vegetables and salads and I can have all that stuff if I want to. I, I do, I do choose to eat no bread or very little bread. Again, every once in a while I slip and I have, Sometimes I have something, but if that's what's there, then I go ahead and eat it. Didn't kill me. Um, and it's probably not going to, depending on your particular circumstances and how, why you're doing the diet, some people bread, if you eat one bite of bread, it will totally wreck you for days. And if that's the case, don't eat it. Um, but that's, you know, that's kind of, that. that's not how it works for me. I, I can eat stuff once or twice, be perfectly fine. It's only through sustained. If I have something like bread, if I eat it two or three or four, you know, two or three times a day for two or three days in a row, then it really starts to kill me. But I can kind of handle one, one bread event every few days if, if I need to. Anyway, I'm just waffling now. I'd recorded this whole thing earlier and the sound was completely messed up. So hopefully this time the sound is better and it'll be good all the way through. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's, that's my update. So 
Thanks everybody for subscribing. Oh yeah, I did notice that I had a few new subscribers last week. So thank you very much to the new people who subscribed. If you're watching this and you made it this far, um, please like and subscribe the video. It just helps me. I'm trying to get to the point where I can, you know, maybe get that first level of, of partnership with YouTube, which would be super helpful for me. And it would give me a little bit more incentive to make more videos. And um, yeah, anyway, I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.